Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. A couple of videos ago I made a brick wall showing you in depth how, how I go about making a, um, a brick wall. Uh, then I did uh, the factory window which uh, turned out okay I think. Uh, so my latest one is the door. We've got walls, windows, now we need a door. So this is um, perhaps a little extravagant, uh, a door to make, but um, it could be as small as that if you wanted. Um, but anyway, let's get into the video and I will show you how I went about making this. So I've marked out what design of door that I want. It's, it's going to be a substantial door for a substantial sort of building but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that that would be okay uh, just for a house or cottage door uh, but for the sake of argument um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it as elaborate as as I can uh, so this will be glazed these top panels will be glazed these will just be uh, panels at the bottom and this will be a, a half moon glazed panel at the top uh, so I, I've made the height of the door two and a quarter inches tall, which is mm, uh, 58 millimetres, which if you um, use one of your 135 scale uh, figures is is about the right height for uh, well, for a door for a door. So two and a quarter inches normally. And an inch and a quarter wide, uh, which is uh, 32 millimeters. Okay, so that that's basically the size of each door. So, um, so we've, now we've got the de the design of door that we want. Uh, it needs to go into a frame. So that will uh, just cut out the outside uh, size of the door. And that will sit in there like so. Uh, cut these out. Panels in the bottom there. And then I've cut these uh, three eight square pieces of uh, two mil cardboard. And they will go all the way up there. If I can do it. They'll be like uh, cornerstones if you like or coins going all the way up there to the top and then a, a plinth along the top and that will make it look like a, a substantial looking uh, decent looking door okay uh, with these as well I shall um, sand uh, a bevel on all four corners as well and leave a, a slight gap between the two so it'll look like that slight gap like that and then uh, the, a beveled edge which will make them look more like uh, dressed stone okay so i'll go away and do all that uh do my cutting out and sticking on and uh, come back and we'll see what it looks like so for the door i cut out the four panels and the uh, the big panel at the top <clears throat> uh, on the bottom one i've cut the cut the panels out then put uh, a piece back on the back and then the pieces that I cut out I cut down in size uh, and then put a bevel all around four sides and then stuck them back in again uh, against this uh, back piece so that gives the the panel door effect then at the bottom of the door um, this will have uh, see-through acetate to act as a window I'll put that in later uh, so uh, oh and the, the 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 gap between the two doors I just put a, a groove down uh, down the middle there so that's there the two doors finished and then for the outside I put those uh, 3 8 square pieces of 2 mil card all the way around and uh, gave them a a bit of a chamfer on all four sides okay so that makes it look a little little better and put a, a bit of a 
a bit of a something, what do you call it? Uh, just a, a, a nice architectural feature there. <laughs> I don't know what the feature is called, but it's an architectural feature nonetheless. And then uh, a bit along the top. Uh, put a few bricks all around just to make it look a bit better when it's done. And then when the door's behind like that, um, I think you'll agree that's quite a, a substantial looking doorway. Okay, so I'll paint this up. I'll give it a coat of um, wall filler, watered down wall filler as a, a, an undercoat or um, a seal, if you like, over the cardboard and then paint it uh, green probably and put my um, acetate window and for this I shall put my um, grey grout between the bricks and this will probably be, be grey as well. Uh, so I'll go ahead and finish it all off and stick the back on and that will look quite a, a decent looking door. Okay, I'll finish it off and be back in just a moment. Okay, so I finished my door off, uh, painted the door green, uh, just added a bit of water to green paint just to give it a, a, th a thinner coat and then dabbed off with a piece of toilet tissue before it dried uh, just to give it a bit of a, a weathered look. Um, put the uh, acetate on the back to uh, show that it's been glazed. Okay, and put my mortar between the bricks and then the, the same mortar that I used, a grey grout, I just put a very thin coat on the stones, the surrounding stones. So there we are, a, a, a very easy to make door and cost no money. I just used offcuts of two millimetre cardboard. Uh, that's, that's, that's all I used. Okay, so there we are. Um, thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click that like button, click the notification bell for new videos that are coming up all the time. And uh, I've also initiated the uh, super thanks button, but that's entirely up to you. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modelling.